Blessings, Gemini. Welcome to your 2022 January general reading. Okay, I'm like, are we really there yet? Yes, we are. So let's see what message spirit has in store for you, Gemini. Okay, Ooh, take it, spirit said. So I am being called to pull six cards, right? Now, what these six cards are going to indicate are your first six months. And then your seventh card is going to indicate the rest of your year, the remaining six months, okay? So, Gemini, let's get into it, all right? If you're excited, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know you're excited. And then be sure to subscribe, like, follow, and share if this resonates at all. So, January, you got the playing card. It says, a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Okay, let me just say this. This is the second card. This card has come up today. And Spirit just told me to tell you, just like I was told to tell them. Now, the first time it was in the Activating You Mentorship group. Now, it's in your reading, Gemini. But Spirit is saying, if you have been thinking about joining us for the next activating you retreat or the all-inclusive retreat right or the mini retreat spirit is putting indication on that all-inclusive right for whoever that is but it's time to come it's time to come reach out to me so i can get you situated we can connect and you can reserve your spot this retreat is going to have great transformation for you, right? Now, spirit is telling you it's also about you taking a journey within, right? It's time for you to take a journey within. It's time for you to go deeper than you've ever gone before and open your soul wide open. There are so many things that you are being guided to receive right now, but until you slow down and you allow yourself to be open to that, right? Being open to the fact that there's more. Yes, you've done great. Yes, you've done a lot of healing, but there is more, Gemini. There's more. So now is the time to get to it, okay? So we're just saying there's no time to play around. You got the devil card, Gemini. And what it says is take care immediately to avoid deception and deceit. So what spirit is telling you to do is it's time to pour into you, right? Because when you are pouring into you, that is when you are the most connected to the divine. And when you are the most connected to the divine, you are protected and shielded from anything that is deceptive, from anything that does not serve your highest good. But when you drop the ball for self, you are then open to all of that energy that's low vibe that doesn't serve you. So spirit is saying in February, it's about you continuing with your self-care, continuing with your self-love, doing the things that you know you must to operate at your highest optimal self, okay? Now in March, Gemini, you got the birth card, okay? And it says universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. So in March, what spirit is saying by you being consistent with all of those things that you do to keep your spiritual self elevated, you are gonna start to notice new opportunities being presented to you, right? And spirit is saying, be guided even there to know which ones to take and which one's not, and even which one's to take right now and which one's to take later. It's all about being guided in this period of your life because you are going to be open to a world of possibilities, a world of information, just a world, right? I'm hearing that song, oh, no, that, right? I'll spare you, but you know, you know the song. Leave me a comment if you know the song. Just put a new world. Now in April, you got snake and it says you, your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. Okay. So what spirit is saying with this is you were being guided. What did that last card say? This is April. What did that March card say? Right. Opportunities are there. But what spirit is telling you to be careful that you don't fall back into your old ways. Right. It's about you shedding that skin permanently, that skin of who you once were and being who you are today. Right. You will be guided, but be careful not to overthink it. Be careful not to allow doubt to stop you from moving the, along the path that spirit has laid out for you. Right. Be careful. Be cautious. Be aware and know that spirit has your back. You do not have to do it alone. The the moment you go back into thinking, I must do this alone, Gemini, is the moment that you've fallen off your game. So allow spirit to take the lead and you follow, right? Now in May, you got cracker. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about the cracker barrel either. It says positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. So spirit is saying, you know what? You're still there. You're still in that positive energy, no matter what you just went through, no matter what you're going through in May right? You, that energy is still available to you. Even if you stumbled a bit and you might have fallen to your knees, spirit said, just get up. You didn't lose a step. Just get up and keep stepping, right? Spirit is really just letting you know, Gemini, that spirit has your back. And right now you are being introduced to the next level of a world of possibility if you allow it, right? If you allow it, you must open the door to receive. 
here's June. Wish, Gemini, you have just a beautiful year ahead, a beautiful year ahead. It says your heart's desire is ready to come true. So what I'm feeling from spirit with, it's ready to come true. In June, you may experience a bit of a block, right? There may be some energy blockages. There may be some personal things that you experience that may have you feeling a little down, which lowers your vibration. But what Spirit is saying is just remind yourself, right, that it is there for you. It is already yours and it's just waiting for you to heal through whatever those things are, right? Now, remember, when you when you experience these, these lower vibration frequencies, they're showing up as teachers to show you what you're being called to heal. It's not showing up to stop you. It's not showing up to, to beat you down. Down, right but what happens is we start to look at it as our opponent right in the ring that's getting the best of us but what spirit is saying is you you can start looking at it as a teacher and you sit there and you observe it with the eyes of curiosity and the openness to learn from it that's what you'll experience right now Jim and I for the remainder of your year you got the full card and I'm hearing that Tina Turner song She's just a fool, you know I'm a ha, 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 that, I'm hearing that, ah! I'm hearing that song, but anyways, it says, fool, have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous. Now, spirit is going to be guiding you all up out of your comfort zone throughout the rest of 2022, and you're being guided, you're being warned about it, and spirit is telling you to be courageous, be courageously free, right? Freedom, freedom is born from courage, right? Freedom is the child of courage and action, okay? So now I'm hearing Fantasia. Go on ahead and free yourself. Yeah, free yourself. Let spirit be your guide and you be courageously active in the guidance that you receive, okay, Gemini? That was your message for 2022, January and beyond. Let me know how it resonates. Leave me a comment, even if it's just a heart, right? The more comments you leave, the more people will see this video and the more these positive messages will get out. So we cannot grow without your assistance, right? Your assistance is a vital part of our growth, right? And together we're growing, together we're spreading love and light and positivity. So I thank you so much for your subscription. I thank you for allowing me to serve you. And I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. Have a great year, Gemini.